Hello there. Welcome to a payroll in Excel update. Some an update that a lot of people have been waiting for and asking me about over the years. And I, I finally decided to add it into the file. We're going to talk about 1099s. 1099 NECs to be specific now. This is non-employee compensation. If and we're not going to have a long discussion about the difference between employees and, and independent contractors. Th that's a whole nother video and it's a philosophical discussion as well as a technical one. But once you know whether or not someone is an independent contractor or an employee, when they are an independent contractor and you're filing a form 1099 e NEC to report their income, you need a way to keep track of it. And, and, and these people are not employees. So we have an entire different section in this payroll file for employees and employee withholding and everything that goes along with employees. And now we have an additional 1099 NEC and uh, this is not ready yet, but I will get this done as well, which is a 1099 miscellaneous as well. I'll be setting that up in, uh, as we get into the new year as well. But this right now we're ready for the 1099 NEC portion. And if you already have a payroll file and you want a copy of this and you know, you're one of the subscribers uh, to the payroll and Excel program, uh, you'll get this update and I'll answer your questions about how to get information in, but a lot of those questions are going to be answered in this video today. So what is going on here? Well, when you're paying people and they're not employees and they're independent contractors, you don't necessarily have to withhold any federal or state tax from their pay. You can because they probably will have a liability if they're making money. So it's not necessarily a bad idea. There are specific rules about whether or not you, you man, it's mandatory for you to withhold on certain types of payments. I'm not going to go into all of them because when I'm not aware of all of them, that's a technical question for your accountant. But once you know whether or not you have withheld any federal or state, you have a place to put it. So let's talk about how you enter in information and then how you keep track in this pivot table report that will give you your summaries for everybody. So let's, I've already put sample data in here, but let's pretend that, uh, you know, we're right here on the 20th of December in 2021. And recipient's taxpayer identification number is what that's asking for right there. You can put it in there or not. You can put it on a separate sheet of paper if you don't want to put their social security number in this file. That, that's a legitimate concern if you don't want to just have social security numbers lying around in this document. You can not put that there. Um, but it will be helpful for reference when you're filing your 1099s at the end of the year. Who's the employee? Let's say the employee is me. How much did, did, did I get paid? Say, I, you know, actually, you know, <laughs> let's say three thousand. For people who are watching this video, know what the joke about the three thousand is. I, I got paid three thousand for something. Well, uh, was there any tax withheld? No. Let's say no. Was there state tax withheld? No. What state was this person in? Let's say California when this happened, because uh, <laughs> it's possible. Um, What's the state tax ID for California? This is the payer's ID. So if you know what that number is, you know you would, you would type in that number here. This is an account number that can be related to the 1099 that you can have that's optional. Then you can put the address of the recipient, um, whatever that recipient's address is, so that you have it as reference. The state income is probably going to be the same amount as the non-employee compensation. If it's different because there's like different types of income that are related to it, you, you could change this number. And there's a question about, is any of this money from resale of goods? This is kind of like the Amway exclusion, I call it, or the uh, the vertical marketing scheme or whatever. Um, because something about, did you know, did you pay this person and did they make sales on your behalf and, you know, what was going on here? Um, I think that's related to like when you're reselling something and taking a very low profit, you end up, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even sure. But if that applies to you, that's what that question's about on the end. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward and you, you just – Keep putting in dates that these things happen, or you can put in just one record for the whole year if you know the grand total for one person. But the reason why I'm allowing you to add dates and add records to this is because then all you have to do is go over here to your pivot table and refresh, and you're going to get grand totals for everything. So Elon Musk and Ken Braverman, you can see Elon made a whole lot more money than me this year. <laughs> This is fake numbers. It doesn't mean anything, but it's funny. Um, he made three hundred and sixty-two million dollars, according to this fake numbers that we just did. And this is how much federal was withheld from his pay, and this is how much state was withheld. Now, if you wanted to know which state that was, you, you can choose different states up here, or you can actually move the states by going into the field list, take the state, and put it like on top of the row label. And then all of a sudden, you'll have all the ten ninety nines that you need to file in a specific state and find out exactly who is in what state.
right? You can see that there's somebody's in two different states in this scenario here. So does that require two, two 1099s? No, it requires two different lines on the state tax line of the 1099, which is right here. See state tax withheld. So there's different ways that you can look at your information, but it's gonna allow you to aggregate all your 1099 NEC information in a, in a very quick and easy to, to sort format. So I, I, I mean, that that's now in the version. I mean, I'm just gonna clear it out, right? We just start from zero, right? Just clear that out, refresh. Don't need the image anymore because it weighs down the file. And now you have what you'll see when you uh, purchase the template or purchase subscription. All right. so. Good luck, everybody. That was 1099 NECs, the addition to the payroll and Excel program. Um, I, I think it, I think it'll be helpful, and I'm sure the people that have wanted it can see how easy it can be to aggregate this information. Good luck. Payroll should be easy. Make it so.